Okay, here I want to do a couple more examples of constructing truth tables. These will be a little bit uh, easier, examples three and four, uh, a little bit easier than one and two, but they will tie into some definitions that I want to, uh, to talk about. So actually one and two would have as well, but let's go ahead and do these because I said I would. So let's do the truth table here for P implies P or Q. So, okay, so I've got my different uh, possible truth values for the statement P or Q. Recall that the statement P or Q is true if either one or both of the statements are true. Well, in the first row, they're both false, so P or Q will be false. But um, in the second row, Q is true, so that OR statement will be true. In the third row, P is true, so the OR statement will be true. And in the fourth row, well, they're both true. Now we have to think about P implies P or P and, excuse me, P implies P or Q. And recall an implication will be considered true if, well, I guess let's say it the other way. The only time it's false, so P implies, we'll say R is false. The only time it's false is if P is true and uh, the statement R is false. That's when we say that that implication is false. Well, notice we don't have that happening. In uh, the first row, we have P being false, the OR statement being false. We consider that implication to be true. P is false, uh, the OR statement is true. Again, we consider the implication to be true. And the same thing for the third and fourth, it's still going to be true. So, much like my examples one and two, if you saw those, notice for all of the different possible truth values for the statement P or Q, we got every single time we got a true statement. So that compound statement was true. Okay, let's look at the bottom one here. Maybe you can guess what's going to happen. And you can probably almost reason what should happen, you know. Is it possible for P and not P and Q to be true? Well, Probably not, but let's see. Okay, so we've got our different truth values for P and Q. Not P, we'll just take the opposite truth value, so that'll be 1, 1, 0, 0, because originally, again, we're just taking the opposite, so instead of 0, it'll be 1, instead of 0, it'll be 1, instead of 1, it'll be 0, instead of 1, it'll be 0. So not P and Q. Um, so for this one, recall that uh, uh, an AND statement is going to be uh, have a, a true value um, if both statements are true. So, um, so not P and P, excuse me, so, excuse me, so not P and Q, well, uh, one of the statements is false. Ugh. So that statement will be false. Okay, so let's see, uh, not P and Q in the second row. Well, here both of the statements are true, so that AND statement will be true. Um, in the next row, uh, not P and Q, those are both false, so the AND statement will be false. And then we have not P and Q. Well, again, one of the statements is false, so the AND statement will be false. Okay, so again, now we have to do another AND statement. Now we're thinking about P and not P and Q. Well, again, there's no place where um, uh, P and the compound statement not P and Q, there's no place where they both have a, uh, a true value. So in the first row, they're both false, so that AND statement's going to be false. Well, in the second row, the first one's false. In the third row, uh, my AND statement is false. And again, it's false. So notice this time, everything, um, everything this compound statement is always false. So we've got one case where no matter what truth values we use, um, the compound statement's always true. Here we've got an example of no matter what truth values we use, we have a compound statement that's always false. And this definitely happens, and we will talk about these again. And this leads me to the following exciting definition. So um, a compound statement is called a tautology. If it's true for all truth value assignments for its component statements. Um, 
and we call a compound statement. If a compound statement is false for all of its uh, assignments, then it's called a contradiction. Okay, so this, this compound statement here would be a tautology. And this compound statement here would be a contradiction. Okay, so again, just a couple little definitions. We'll definitely be talking about tautologies and contradictions again in some uh, other videos. Um, but again, hopefully these examples too just help give some more illustration on constructing truth tables.